subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! It's Thursday, it's leg day, we have a special guest all the way from Wales, you know what they say? Like? <laughs> Wales, they have the biggest um, sheep in the sea. <laughs> so we're having our cheat meal um, before training. Um, what have we got, Tom? A nice big juicy burger and chips from the finest Tom. So Josh has kindly come up. You're going to be doing a... Every time I say it, we've got to get our head around it. So we, we we're both um, working with rain. So they've kindly kind of arranged a, a shoot for us. So Josh, stupidly, um, <laughs> has agreed to come along and, and do some training with us. So we're going to get you doing the world's strongest man style squats, some track push, which I think we're going to have to incorporate into our training. So that's why we're doing that. Some accessories, and he's eating like a pro straw man too. You had. Uh, he's enjoying it too, aren't you? I'm, I'm full all the time <laughs> with you boys. I, I feel like I've just had breakfast, and now you're throwing this in front of me. Yeah. So. Uh, Living a life. You had the yeah. pancake breakfast, didn't you? The pancake blow pancake breakfast. breakfast. I thought I did all right, but you then I went it. back to the hotel and thought, I'm going to die. Thankfully, <laughs> uh, you haven't died yet. I'm here to live the tale. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get this down us, um, go down. It's a big session for us. We a big one for Josh. We're going to put him through his paces. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. Right, guys, that's us just fueled up on our burger and chips. We're here in the gym and we're ready for a big spicy squat session. So myself and Luke are gonna do the world's strongest man style ones. We got Josh doing a bit more volume work and getting him to the depth. And we're gonna stay up when it's a good lift. Just again, to get his legs nice and endured for the massive he's gonna be doing. So we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna take you through some other exercises we're gonna be doing. Stay tuned. That is insane. Go back to Wales and then if you want. Mate, I could probably put my shoe in there. It's ridiculous. Wait, wait. What type of weights are you normally lifting for so squats? Last week when I was training the gym, I was doing 5x5 five five on like 140. Okay. But I probably. I don't know what five by five on like 110 maybe right. now at the moment. So building it back up slowly. So I'm happy to build up and go till failure yeah. anyway. So yeah. maybe just tens on each side. Just yeah. ten, yeah. ten, that's ten. Um, I think. It's more for yeah, yeah, that's it. It's not stronger at the moment. Isn't necessarily better for you. It's more if you can say get up to your 110 that you're doing five by five. Is that if you can do 110 for 20, you know that's that's far more beneficial to your type of training now yeah. than um, for, for me personally I think that would be better. Do you just say for a wee person? Way to kick a man when he's down oh, there. Oh, <laughs> you are wee to me so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm Josh Warren Jones, an ultra endurance athlete. So I'm 33. I was told I wouldn't get to 30. So when I reached my 30th birthday, I was pretty happy. I've made it this far, so why not push the boundaries even more? So, so I've got a few months to get my strength up. Yeah, let's see, see how far I can go. Thank you. 
How did your squats go, Luke? It was good. So it was 300 for sets of three, um, just in sleeves at the moment. So probably next week we'll put on the knee wraps. Start to get used to them. I'll get more of a pop with them. The box setup that we've got just a little bit off. It's like five mil out, but five mil can be can make a bit of a difference. So we're just going to try and sort that next week. Make sure everything's bang on. But no, it felt good. Felt strong. Didn't feel like. I was really struggling at all, so yeah, 300s. Done. I always want to be sort of challenging myself, but I do challenges for charity to raise money and awareness for cystic fibrosis, which is something that I have. And for me, I've always, I've sort of grown up with people saying to me, you know, what's impossible and, you know, all your dreams are just, you know, pie in the sky. You're never going to do it. You're never going to make it. You're not going to make it past 30. So. For me, I just want to show people even without a terminal disease, sorry, even with a terminal disease, that you can achieve anything really. So yeah, it's good to be up here and training with these boys and put me through my paces. And I'm going from an endurance athlete to a semi-strength athlete. So the change is massive for me. It's, it's a huge challenge, but I wanted to do something that most people would think is just nuts because that's what raises money and raises awareness. So yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> how, how is it keeping up with the boys, the diet and stuff like that? Yeah, the food they eat is, is insane. I've got a pretty good appetite, but the pancake meal this morning nearly killed me off. I'm, you might see me throwing up this session. I don't know yet, but Tom's told me just to do it on the floor. Don't worry about a bucket, so <laughs> don't blame me. <laughs> Right, we're all squat buddies. We all did our reps. Happy with that, Tom? Yeah, it's good. Very good. It's good. Uh, just in sleeves and the depth that I got to it. It's good, man, you know? Very good place to be in right now. You look, how did you get on? Pretty good. Josh, how did you get on? Could have gone heavier, to be honest, that. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was good. So, Josh was smashing out reps of 10 like it was nothing. I think that'll really help with the, the endurance. We said, you know, just keep building that um, rep range up. That's what I would suggest. Um, well, keeping that that weight's quite high. Um, we're now going on to barbell clean and press. We say barbell clean and press. We're it's more of a power shag muscle movement. We're not very technical. I think with this again, it'll work in your explosive <laughs> explosiveness. So we'll get on with it. What are we doing? Five sets. Of three at one twenty, I think, or three sets of five. Five sets of three, one, two. Oh, Still easy! Come yeah, on. that's it. Let's do it. <laughs> but it's here to here. Nice flick, and then up. Right, okay. Instead of just doing like, <coughs> just because we have it in our cabinets. Yeah, yeah. Again, when it gets heavier, it's easier to do it this way than it is okay. looking straight on. So, to your waist. So you're, you're right-handed, right? Yeah. yeah. So you'll do it this way. So yeah, you go to your waist, you can either catch it before it hits your waist or hit your waist, pull it round, and it explodes you here, and then up. So like, from here, explosive as you can, oh, off the ground. Right. Catch, right. and so it can slip down here, it can go anywhere, so, and you just, okay. and then press. Okay. That's just not do that anymore, right? <laughs> and then, yeah, so keep the bar like so. Keep yeah, the bar there. Yeah, keep the bar there. Swap. Yeah, so try and push it like the arms more, up, your elbows up in the air more. Yeah, that's it. And then flip. And up. Okay. Try here, try another one. Touch. Is that right? Like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to do that. And they're over. Oh, okay. That's just teaching. Oh, no, no, no. I think if well, you try to put up in the belly, like that's so, so from the floor to your belly, straight up. Yeah, that's probably easier. Yeah, yeah, because you're okay. Yeah, well, you can, there's two ways. Just that way's more hard if it gets heavier, you know, because it can slip out your hands there, yeah, and then yeah. that way's worse. You can actually power it up. So.
160. They made different up here. <laughs> it was all right. Bit of a bit of a bruise on the old scarring coming through. No excuses. seen anyone try that hard? <laughs> no, I, we talk about mindset and before we met Josh, never, no chance man, you're, you're away on a different bloody planet, but seeing him, you know, doing that, that like intensity, that aggression, that kind of want to, to do something, he's, he's kind of proven me wrong and I'm sure he's going to smash it man, it's that what we, we uh, talk about, kind of mentality, having the right Head, head to kind of do things and not give up. I mean, I think Josh is a prime example of that, and it's pretty cool to to kind of be part of, you know, this this kind of this journey that he's on. So it's it's pretty awesome. So hopefully, it just takes a couple of minutes and we'll get him and we'll we'll try it again. <laughs> crazy, crazy Wales. Boys, I'm not going back to Wales without doing it. So you might be with me for a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Kick in the ditch. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 
What do you think of that, Tom? <laughs> he took some rain, took some smelling shots, and then turned into a machine. That was good. Very good. So it's like training with training with Scotland. You got to up your f***ing game. <laughs> that first one, jeez. We impressed with Peter lifting by King Josh here. By the king of the overhead press. Rain and smelling salts and it turns you into a beast, so we might add that into our training schedule now. But never seen it. Like was, it. Uh, yeah, it was cool. It was a nice bit of fun. So now we're going to do some accessories, finish off these bad boys, and then we're going to see you at the warehouse. We're back down the warehouse. It's a little bit different on a Thursday for us, but seeing as we have an amazing guest, we've taken him down here to play with some of our toys. So, first up is the monster yoke, the one of a kind. Um, again, our great friend Richard Looney made this for us, um, basically with his bare hands. So it's 200 kilos empty. Josh, you've just tried to pick it up. Easy money. <laughs> so we're gonna talk, kind of, Josh, through the, kind of, we do the yoke, um, core stability, kind of, hip strength, um, breathing, uh, footwork as well, um, which I think will really help him in the, the doing. So we'll get cracking with that then. The rain's just stopped. It was a monsoon out there about five minutes ago. Poor Simon just got soaked. You okay, oh, Simon? Simon? Good. Um, and then we're going to go do some sandbag throws, and then we're going to do a big, massive truck push to finish off. So it should be fun. Yes! <laughs> With the yoke, you see a lot of, um, especially in CrossFit as well, you see a lot of guys kind of grab onto the, the cross beam. Okay. We wouldn't do that necessarily in Strongman because a yoke's got a tendency to swing, swing back and forth. Okay. So when we, when we do it, we normally have our hands braced there, that stops it swinging back and forth. Oh, easy then, so it's like just, you have to That stops that swinging motion, that pendulum motion. So we kind of pick it up, we brace, and it's just a couple of small steps. Okay. So it's small steps until you get into that kind of, that rhythm almost. As okay. soon as you, if you can imagine, if you're taking a big step with that weight on your yeah, back, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. going to cripple you. So okay. it's, Again, keeping the weight. Um, it's almost balanced. Yeah, balanced. Yeah, step okay. Yeah, like that, you know, so okay. Balanced. Yeah, so it's. We'll do the pick up first, won't we? See what yeah. we okay. So what? Two hundred kilos. This is two hundred kilos. Yeah. Uh, yes. That's good. That's good. Breathe. I'm about it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Right. Small step. Let's go. Three. 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 Step. Yes. Good, good, easy. Keep going. Go on, let's take it a little bit. Let's go. Come on. Keep it coming. Small steps of the Come on. Come on, man. Yes. All the way. Come on. Yeah. Drop it. That's nice. Comfortable. It feels really weird on your shoulders. Yeah, yeah. It feels because it's slipping. It feels like it slips out of your back. Yeah! Really impressive, actually, for a yoke that size, and for you to be able to control how you're controlling it. A lot of guys, when they first pick up the yoke, the core is nowhere near as strong as that. And again, you've got a tendency to swinging about, everything's moving about. 
But if you just keep that pace that you're going, that steady pace, yeah. and again, that's perfect for the, the that same pace. You know, you've got to keep that going. That's all it is. It's just getting into that rhythm. That's all it is with us. We'll go all the way up, drop it, quick transition, and back again. Yeah. It's just hard. <laughs> There's no easy way of doing it. But your legs, it's weird, your legs feel like jelly, but it's your breath. Yeah. Like you were saying about your breathing technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try and breathe every step, mm. then on a couple you forget to breathe, and then you've got to play catch up. Mm. But yeah. You hold that breath, you get loose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was good. That, mate, that was. I enjoyed that. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think. I'm not being disrespectful, but just how big the yoke is, I thought you might struggle with that, but yeah. to see you do that, plus the... You upgraded from the baby one to this one straight away, man. Jeez. Like, you went, you went from zero to a hundred in the yoke. <laughs> how did he do? Pretty spectacular. Um, for someone that's never done strongman implements like that, that was Josh's first time. And you can see how big the yoke looks even with Tom in it and it's 200 kilos empty so for Josh to pick that up after doing squats, after doing cleaning presses, after doing accessories and do that and then put 20 kilos each corner as well so another 40 kilos yeah it was a good moment for us to see that and to see that effort you know if you you can imagine Josh who's at his 99.9 .9 miles and he's struggling you know maybe it's in that pill or whatever and if he's got that mentality to really just as he did there to push through, push through that pain barrier. I think that's what makes us unique. That's what makes us able to do the things we do. Is being able to push through that pain barrier. So it's not just strong men that do that. It's endurance athletes. It's sprinters. It's Olympic. It's all the different athletes in the world that can push through that pain barrier. And Josh is doing that. He just did that there, like about 20 times, which is awesome. So yeah, I I dip my hat to you, good sir. Right, guys, that's the yoke and that done. We are now outside in the peeing rain. Doing wait for a height, living the dream. I will take it away. <laughs> when you swing, you keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, and let go at your highest point. So you want to okay. keep. So your your wrists want to keep the same. Solid. So you don't want to if you're fucking. So there's no flick. No flick, yeah. And with this, you need to keep the tension, if that makes sense. So if so you're it's not bouncing. Yeah, so if you're if you're going like that, yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, of course. you're uh, swinging like that. Okay. Like that. And then really up okay. hips through, up in your toes. Okay. Um,
Gone on to Wales without doing that, lads. Fuck me. Yes. Yes. Right then, that's the sandbag throw done in, in the rain. It's for rain. Massive rain. A lot of rain. Yeah. So, Josh had a few attempts, you got it. It was uh... after about 100. <laughs> But that's one leaving. Never give up. No. That's what you don't. That's, that's if you quit, fast. you fail. I couldn't go back to Wales. He smashed it, mate. It was probably, doing it. You obviously saw it was, it was soaking with rain, so the bag was getting heavier. It was getting more awkward. Your grip was getting slipping. More frustrated as well. Um, but we slap in the head. Works every time. That was it. <laughs> Nailed it. And then yeah, we did a couple of ones. It was cool. That was the first time we used that frame as well. So it was nice to get get it done with yourself. Um, now. The best guy in the world at Stones is gonna. So since the weather's bad, we're gonna let Josh have some fun lifting what I like to call big balls. So <laughs> hope you guys are ready to see a masterclass in, at the stone lifting. Right in the middle, sort of of a park, not like this, not like this. Yeah. Perfectly like this. Okay, and then for this bit here as well, straight arms. Okay. So you want to pull it with straight arms. You don't want to bend your arms. Just yeah, because okay. biceps will be destroyed in this kind of thing so so I'm gripping it in the middle of the stone you don't want to grip it here if you grip it a lot of people try and grip it there and roll it up onto their laps you don't want to do that you want to really just go down and grip it straight up so go down really squeeze your forearms and arms into the stone and bang okay we're going to do that bit first before yeah. we go on the lap right yeah, okay forearms together Just warming up the tacky a little bit for Josh. It's a bit old the tacky, but that will still help him. Um, which is, just let that cool down a bit. Don't let Tom touch things because sometimes that happens. Bad things. <laughs> yeah, middle of your form is another try. Yep, not going to use yeah. Here we go. I'll just pop it, just tell me pop. Oh! Sounds <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Matt, they just you don't have Massive to squeeze difference. Much. Come on, squeeze. Come yeah. on. Sit low, sit low. Reach with those hands. Yeah, right, big pop, big pop. Come on, mate. So that's our training session finished. We hit some squats, overhead press clean jerks, accessories, down with Josh doing some sandbag throws. Josh had a wee tutorial session with the best stone lifter in the world. Thank Mr. you, Josh. Tommy Stoltman. Thank you, mate. So we're struggling on fuel at the moment. Um, and as Josh is going to be... We thought it might be good for you to push the truck back to the gym. Why not? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Go on. Pass.
Going to take it away. Right guys, so that's the training day over with uh, Big Bad Josh. It was cool seeing Josh in action. Uh, action sorry. Uh, your pressing was cool. Your uh, keg toss was cool as well. That was uh, never giving up. That's what you need to do guys. So yeah, it was a great day. You know, kind of putting our experience into kind of practice with Josh is cool and Josh trying some new events as well. It's a nice bit of fun and he was a straw man for the day, so did you enjoy it? I did, I loved it, and next time maybe it's your time to be uh, endurance athletes for a day. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> they call me the endurance king. Get my own back. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's think about that. A tin of rain and some smelling salts, I'll be angry. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please keep ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs>